have a practice problem on how to evaluate limits of trigonometric functions and we are going to explain everything in details. On example number one, limit of 4 sine quantity x plus pi or radian plus 3 as x approaches radian. So to simplify this one, let us simply substitute the value of x. This will give us 4 sine and then x that is radian plus radian plus 3. So this will give us 4 sine radian plus radian that is 2 radian plus 3. And let us have 4 sine. Since radian is always equals to 180 degrees, so let us have 2 times 180 degrees plus 3. So this is 4 sine 2 multiplied by 180 degrees, that is 360 degrees plus 3. So let us have 4. The value of sine 360 degrees, that is 0 plus 3. And then 4 multiplied by 0, that is 0 plus 3. And 0 plus 3, that is 3. So this will be our answer we have limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 plus 2. So to simplify this one, always remember that the limit of sine x over x as x approaches to 0 is always equals to 1. For example, if we are going to have sine, the value of x is, let's say, 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1, that is 0 0.998. And if we are going to have sine 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.01, this is 0 0.9998. So as you can see, as the value of x approaches to 0, the value of the function approaches to 1. So that means to say, the value of limit of sine x over x, x approaches to 0 is 1. So this will give us 1 plus 2. And that is 3. So this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have limit of 1 minus cosine squared x all over x as x approaches 0. So if we are going to substitute directly the value of x, we are going to have 0 over 0 or indeterminate. So what are we going to do in order for us to simplify this limit? So to simplify, let us write this one as limit as x approaches 0. And let us write x on the denominator. And let us have 1 minus cosine squared to be written as the sum and difference of two squares. And that is 1 plus cosine x times quantity 1 minus cosine x. So as you can see, if we are going to multiply 1 plus cosine x and 1 minus cosine x, it will give us 1 minus cosine squared x. So... To simplify this one, let us have limit of 1 plus cosine x as x approaches 0 multiplied by limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0. So as you can see, we separate the numerator 1 plus cosine x and 1 minus cosine x. And always remember, Whenever we have limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0 is equals to 0. For example, if we are going to have 1 minus cosine, the value of x here is 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.1. If we are going to press this one on your calculator, this will give us 0 0.05. And if we are going to have 1 minus cosine 0 0.01, divide by 0 0.01, this will give us 0 0.005. And lastly, if we have 1 minus cosine 0 0.001, divide by 0 0.001, this will give us 0 0.0005. So as you can see, as the value of x approaches to 0, the value of the function approaches to 0. That means to say, the value of the limit of 1 minus cosine x all over x as x approaches 0 is always equals to 0. Now, 
let us use this one to simplify the given limit. So let us have here 1 plus cosine 0 times the value of this expression that is 0. So we have here 1 plus cosine 0 is 1 times 0. 1 plus 1 that is 2 times 0. And our answer is 2 times 0 is 0. So this will be our answer. On example number 4, we have limit of sine squared x over x cubed divided by sine x over x squared as x approaches 0. So to simplify this one, let us write limit as x approaches 0. And let us multiply sine squared x by x squared and then x cubed multiplied by sine x. So this will give us sine squared x times x squared divide by x cubed times sine x. So as you can see, we can simplify x squared and x cubed. x squared becomes 1, x cubed becomes x. Also, sine squared x and sine x can be simplified. So sine squared x becomes sine x and sine x becomes 1. So this will give us limit of sine x times 1 divided by x times 1 as x approaches 0. So we can cancel this one. This will give us limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0. Always remember the limit of sine x over x as x approaches 0 is always equals to 1. This will be our answer. On example number 5, we have limit of sine quantity x plus region over 2 as x approaches 0. So to simplify this one, let us substitute the value of x. This will give us sine and then x that is 0 plus region over 2. And to simplify, we have sine region plus 0 that is region over 2. And always remember, region is always equal to 180 degrees. So this is sine 180 degrees divided by 2. So we have sine 180 divided by 2 that is 90 degrees. And the value of sine 90 is always equals to 1. This will be our answer. On example number 6, we have limit of 2 sine x minus 3 cosine x as x approaches 2 radian. So to simplify, let us substitute the value of x which is radian. So this will give us 2 sine radian minus 3 cosine radian. So let us have 2 sine, the value of radian is 180 degrees, minus 3 cosine 180 degrees. And to simplify, let us have 2 sine or shall we say the value of sine 180 degrees that is 0 minus 3 and the value of cosine 180 degrees is negative 1. So to simplify, this is 2 times 0 is 0, negative 3 times negative 1 that is positive 3 and 0 plus 3 is 3. So this will be our answer. On example number 7, we have limit of cosine x all over sine x minus 5 as x approaches to 0. So to simplify this one, let us substitute the value of x. Let us have cosine 0 and then sine 0 minus 5. The value of cosine 0 is 1, while the value of sine 0 is 0 minus 5. And to simplify this will give us 1 over negative 5, or we can write as negative 1 over 5. So this will be our answer. For example number 8, we have limit of quantity 2 cosine x plus 2 as x approaches to 3 region over 4. So to simplify this one, let us substitute the value of x. Let us have 2 cosine 3 region over 4 plus 2. And let us have 2 cosine. Let us substitute the value of region which is 180. So this will give us 3 times 180 over 4 plus 2. So let us have 2 
cosine 180 divided by 4, that is 45. And 45 times 3 is 135 degrees plus 2. So this will give us 2. The value of cosine 135 degrees, 135 is located in quadrant 2. So this is negative square root of 2 over 2 plus 2. So we can cancel this one. This will give us negative square root of 2 plus 2 or 2 minus square root of 2. So this will be our answer. On example number 9, we have limit of cosine squared x over 1 minus sine x as x approaches to region over 2. So if we are going to substitute directly the value of x, we are going to have 0 over 0 or indeterminate. So how can we simplify the given limit? So to simplify, let us write limit as x approaches to region over 2. And since we have Pythagorean identity, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals to 1. So if we are going to move sine squared x to the side of 1, this will give us cosine squared x equals to 1 minus sine squared x. So let us write cosine squared x as 1 minus sine squared x all over 1 minus sine x. So we are going to have limit x approaches region over 2. And let us write 1 minus sine squared x as the sum and difference of two squares. So let us write this one as 1 plus sine x times quantity 1 minus sine x all over 1 minus sine x. So as you can see, if we are going to multiply 1 plus sine x and 1 minus sine x, it will give us 1 minus sine squared x. So therefore, we can cancel this one. This will give us limit of 1 plus sine x as x approaches to region over 2. And from this point, we can substitute the value of x. So this is 1 plus sine region over 2. So let us have 1 plus sine. Re, um, the value of region is 180 divided by 2. And that is 1 plus sine 90 degrees. So we have 1 plus the value of sine 90 degrees is 1. So we have 1 plus 1. It will give us 2. So this will be our answer. In our last example, we have limit of tangent 3x over cotangent 2x minus second squared x as x approaches to region over 4. So to simplify this one, let us simply substitute the value of x. Let us have tangent 3 times region over 4 divided by cotangent 2 times region over 4 minus second squared um, region over 4. So to simplify, let us have tangent 3 times 180 divided by 4 all over cotangent 2 times 180 divided by 4 minus second 180 over 4 squared. So let us have here 180 divided by 4, that is 45. So this will give us tangent 3 times 45 degrees divided by cotangent 2 times 45 degrees minus second 45 degrees raised to 2. And let us have tangent 135 degrees divided by cotangent 90 degrees minus second 45 degrees raised to 2. So since 135 is located in quadrant 2, tangent will be negative 1. 
that is the value of tangent 135 degrees and then cotangent 90 degrees that is 0 minus second 45 that is square root of 2 and then we have squared and to simplify this one let us have negative 1 over 0 minus square root of 2 squared that is 2 so this will give us negative 1 over negative 2 negative 1 divided by negative 2 that is positive 1 half or 0 0.5 so this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all